Hi, welcome to Plaid and Lattes. I'm Holly and I'm AJ and in today's video we're going to be talking about our Christmas favorite movies, cooking books, regular books, and TV shows. If that's something you want to see, then do not adjust your screen. All right, why don't you go first? All right, so I'm going to start with what may not be considered a Christmas movie, but what is a tradition in our house. And before we decorate the tree, while we're decorating the tree, anywhere in that period, we watch the pirate movie. <laughs> Every year, it's stupid, but it's hilarious, and it just, it's our tradition. It has it's nothing tradition. to do with Christmas. It has not, but you get a happy ending, exactly. and that's what's important. Um, my favorite Christmas program, <laughs> well, the entire thing is my favorite, but at Christmas, we watch all of the Doctor Who Christmas yeah, episodes. The There's the front. <laughs> There's the front of the TARDIS. The Doctor Who Christmas episodes, every single one, watch them all. They're all wonderful and, yeah, not to be missed. No tree missing. Hmm? Miss you fine too. I think the tree is okay, buddy. You're distracted. <laughs> Distraction filming. Um, the next movie I love at Christmas takes place in starts in the fall and ends just after New Year's, but it is full on Christmas, and nothing beats Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy, and the desk set. Awesome, awesome movie. If you have never seen it, scour the interwebs and find it because it is, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, next up is The Ultimate Gift. Now it's not technically Christmas. There is a Chris, there is, they do have Christmas late because. Yeah, <laughs> but it gives you all the Christmas feels, feels yeah. because it truly is about, I'm going to cry, the ultimate gift. <laughs> there is a book that corresponds. The book yeah. lays out the lessons, but I feel like the movie really helps you feel what you're supposed to feel when you read the book. It's very well done. Yes. Go ahead, AJ. All right. I will go <laughs> one of my personal favorites. And I have, of course, both of them. All right. It's under here. So I love horror movies and Christmas horror movies are fantastic. So, my <laughs> ultimate favorite is Silent Night, Deadly Night, parts one and two. Part three is terrible. If you want something in the background while you take a nap, it's great. It is, it is not great. It is not a good movie. Part four is interesting. Part five is disturbing and awesome. Very Christmassy. <laughs> Christmas isn't Christmas without a slasher flick. And on that note, there has been many remakes. All of the remakes have been terrible. But the original Black Christmas is one of the best Christmas horror movies ever. It's not blood, guts, and gore. It's what the hell is happening? Who is doing this? It's just great. It's, I think it's 1978. <laughs> and they're at a college campus. Everybody starts getting murdered. You know, your basic slasher flick but Christmassy, all the Christmas lights and snow. And murder and mayhem. <laughs> um, <clears throat> also not Christmassy, but if you can find this book, I like to read it at Christmas and New Year's, and it's really uplifting and empowering. It's called As You Wish by Carol Gates and Tina Sheeran. Um, it's older, but it is, as you can see, I've read it a million times and I will read it a million times more. It's very inspiring and to me, the perfect thing to read at Christmas time. I think it's, isn't it from like a special website or something? I think I did get okay. it from the As You so Wish So I'll see if website. I can find it and link that below if that's yeah. possible. Um, a great Christmas book, which is Christmassy, is The Cat Who Came for Christmas. And yes. the second one isn't, no, it takes place, yeah, the second one's at Christmas too, yeah, is The Best Cat Ever. 
they're great books. If you don't love cats, they're even better because you will love cats. <laughs> and if you love cats, you probably already read them because they're just, they're cozy. And it's not, I mean, a good Christmas romance is great, but it's not a Christmas romance. It's just about a man and his cat. Um, I have a few recipe books here. You know me, you gotta do the recipe books. One of our favorites, which has tons of recipes. So a lot of these books are older. Um, and if you are interested in trying to find them, check out thriftbooks.com. Mm -hmm. They often have a lot of this type of book or your local, um, your used nearest bookstore. used bookstore. Mm -hmm. Um, great place to find these type of books. You can also even look Facebook marketplace. Sometimes people yeah. have like, you might, if they have like a stacked picture of different cookbooks, you might have to really look to see which one is which, but yeah. So the first one is the craft best ever holiday recipe collection. There are so many recipes in here that are, um, just really festive, festive. <laughs> I can't think of a better word, it's but just, they're yeah, festive just... and they're, yeah, they're timeless. They're classic. Um, another one is the cookies book. It's a cookie lovers collection. And there's just, as you can see, I add extra pages of other recipes in to mark where my favorites are all the time. And there are just a lot of really, really good, um, recipes in this book for Christmas. Um, great pictures, great illustration. Yeah. The directions are easy to follow. Yeah. And if you're doing a cookie exchange, doing something from a recipe book is going to be different than Pinterest. Like, don't get me wrong, Pinterest is awesome. But when you search in cookies, you tend to get the top things that everyone else in your group is going to see. So if you can find a really good cookie recipe book. For classic cookies. Yeah, you're yeah. going to find recipes that not everyone is making yeah. that, let's face it, make you kind of the boss of the cookie exchange. And once again, another one. <laughs> I think we recommend this in the fall too. Yeah. yeah. And it really is. It's an amazing book. If you can find it, the Pillsbury, the complete book of baking. Um, this is an older, much older. Let me just see if I can find the date on here. It is, I am blind, 1993. But the recipes in most of these books are older recipes that have been brought forward anyways. And so they really are traditional They're cookies. Timeless recipes. And, and not just cookies, there's everything in there, cakes and loafs and yeah. all, all French manner. Soap pie. French soap pie has the best French soap pie in the world. And my last recipe book recommendation is the Land of Lakes Treasury of Country Heritage Meals and Menus. And it really does, um, you can pick a holiday, you can pick a, a theme, and they have the entire menu to really bring it all together if that's what you like. Or you can just pick a recipe and make whatever it is. And awesome, awesome book. I'll give you that. And I will say, um, I know there's a lot of gluten-free, everybody's gluten-free websites. If you find a gluten-free flour that you love, try it. You don't have to make things gluten-free just from a gluten-free recipe. recipe. Follow the recipe that you love and adapt it. Just, you may want to add a little more butter or a little more milk, whatever is in the recipe. Um, I don't know about doing it vegan or anything like that because not going to happen. But if you're going gluten free, most of those recipes can easily be converted gluten -free, yeah. to gluten free. I'm going to do a tips on gluten free for the new year just because I know a lot of people want to start new things in the new year. So I'll go over some baking tips and some cooking tips as well. Sorry. On I can't wait to drink. No, I've been drinking mine. <laughs> Which, another great thing at Christmas time is the eggnog latte. So, our eggnog lattes are one third eggnog, two thirds lactose free milk. And I always put either a teaspoon of brown sugar or vanilla sugar if you have it. 
and it's perfectly sweet. I also like to dust nutmeg and sugar on top and it's a great at home Christmas drink instead of going anywhere. And and if you haven't seen it, we do also have an eggnog hot chocolate video that at this point has almost 670 views, which Yay! is awesome. <laughs> Considering so, we have 24 subscribers, subscribe. that's awesome for us. <laughs> and if you like this video or want to see more from us, please like and subscribe. <laughs> so my book recommendations are romance books. Um, just a general, uh, Fern Michaels will do anthology series with other up and coming writers. They don't always have like a theme running through them, but they're really great if you're busy and you just want something quick to read. Cause there's just, I think there's four in this one. Yeah, there's, there's between three and four short stories in a book, which is awesome. Same with this one of Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Cruzy, mm -hmm. Santa baby. It's a little more fun. <laughs> and of course, if you really want to go steamy, uh, Harlequin Romance Blaze, they tend to have Christmas ones, which are even shorter. It's three different stories. But if you're stuck waiting for someone at the mall, I personally like to have a paperback book. It's just how I am. Mm -hmm. You're not wasting your battery on your phone or anything like that. And it's just a great way to feel festive. Festive and saucy. <laughs> um, so a couple more movies. There's a lot of movies, but I won't go into detail about all of them. Um, this was based on Debbie McComber's book, Call Me Mrs. Miracle. There's been a couple of different ones. I have the one with James Vanderbeek. <laughs> I don't know even what year this came out in, but they've redone it a couple of times. I like this version the best. I also, well, typically I don't like remakes. I do like the remake of Miracle on 34th Street. I like it way better than the original one. The original one's good, but... Mm -hmm. I like this one. This remake. Yeah, this remake. Yeah, because they've done <laughs> other remakes. This is the one with Matilda in it. I don't know her name. And, oh, it's, yeah, it's uh, John Hughes. Of course, it's great. Mm -hmm. Dylan McDermott, that's, that's it. it. I always mix up the, the Dylan McDermott and the Dermot Mulroney. Yes. <laughs> Dylan McDermott. <laughs> yes. Who's right now on FBI Most Wanted? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And it's really cute. I like it. Holiday in Handcuffs is one of the older ABC Christmas movies. They do still play it sometimes, though. With Joan Hart, Mario Lopez. It's hilarious. It's so funny. <laughs> Mildly cringy. <laughs> but Creepy nothing style. like, you know, kidnapping somebody for the holidays. There's, there's so many jokes about doing that. So, you know, why not watch a full movie about it? Mm -hmm. Christmas Story. It's a classic. They came up with the new one. I haven't watched the new one. I don't know if I care to, but yeah. original Christmas story is great. Everyone loves a bunny suit, you know. Uh, Christmas Mail. It's an older Christmas romance movie. They don't play it on TV, but there are some places you can find it. It's got AJ Buckley in it. He's awesome. It's just, it's one of those really cute ones. A little cheesy. Everybody <laughs> likes a good cheesy Christmas movie. Exactly. <laughs> you want to do these ones? Yeah. Um, another classic we watch every year and I cry I don't know why it's like far from home the adventures of yellow dog I cry every time even though I know the dog lives I cry Spoilers. Um, Muppet Christmas Carol I don't know why I cry but I do every time and it is so fun we sing along with it which you do not ever want to hear but it's very fun and of course the best Christmas movie, movie in the entire world. White Christmas. Enough said. <laughs> uh, another Christmas horror movie, Don't Open Till Christmas. This one is an English one that I actually ordered by accident because I couldn't remember that it was, I was looking for Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 5. I just knew that it was Don't Open Till Christmas. So I ordered this by accident and I was like, wow, this is the best accident ever. Not what I was looking for, but you know, good and gruesome, why not? Just friends. We tend to watch this when we're taking down Christmas because it takes place till just after. It's hilarious. It's certainly a different kind of Christmas romance. <laughs> but it is so funny. And there's it nothing better than truly is. Ryan Reynolds in a fat suit. No, I like watching what's her name. Amy, er. <laughs> yeah, 
jumping over the door, over the wall in my mall. Oh, Anna Ferris, Anna, Anna Ferris. <laughs> Love it. You can't taser people into loving you. <laughs> Another one that uh, I recommended in the fall, but it takes place from fall to Christmas. I'd recommend it for anything is ordinary people. It's also good for the new year if you're if you've been feeling really crappy. It is a really wonderful way to pull yourself out of it. It's a great movie. Just to bring it right. <laughs> um, uh -huh. Christmas TV shows. I didn't remember to bring any up, but The Pretender in the first season is an episode called Not Even a Mouse. And if you don't know, The Pretender is pretty much like Catch Me If You Can, but a million times better because it's four seasons long and he can be anything he wants to be. But he spent years locked away, so he's discovering everything for the first time. <laughs> so in the first season, he discovers Christmas and <laughs> asks all the questions that you're like, hey, why didn't I ask that when I was a kid? And it's awesome. Uh, the Dead Zone, a very Dead Zone Christmas. It's how we found out what turducken is, which is great. If you yes. don't want to get a turducken, by the way, Turducken meatballs are really easy to make and awesome. Yes. It's all the birds. Yes. All the birds rolled into one. <laughs> Another great one is The X-Files, The Ghosts Who Stole Christmas. There's a couple different X-Files Christmas episodes, but The Ghosts Who Stole Christmas is hilarious. It had it's, in it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny and it's mm -hmm. kind of creepy, but, you know, nobody dies. He wasn't dead to begin with. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Supernatural, a very supernatural Christmas is good, of course. But yeah, I think that's. I feel like there was another one in there. But... Doctor Who. And Remember Doctor, Doctor Who. You have never to forget watch Doctor all Who. the Doctor Who Christmas <laughs> episodes. Even if you never watch Doctor Who, the Christmas episodes are all. Exactly. Uh, I think that's about it for today. I think so. If you have any ideas or suggestions for us for next year, by all means, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Uh, we would love to hear your suggestions. All right, till then, stay cozy, stay caffeinated, and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Freaking <laughs>